Hey bitches, it's me, Cora. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna quickly talk about some things that are coming to New Journey, but mainly about Celine. Although there's not too much to talk about, but we know her price now. Her price will be 1500 And if I have to guess, she's coming soon. It's my guess, it's my prediction. What we know from game passes when they get announced or their prices get announced usually within two weeks they are on sale in the game so i'm guessing two weeks from now and we will get back one of the old maps that we've already had and the top three are mom wanda release map uh dark phoenix release map and the OG revamp map, but please don't vote on OG map, revamp map, whatever map. <laughs> um, I personally liked Dark Phoenix and Monwana's maps the most out of all the maps that we've ever got. Um, I voted on Dark Phoenix though because it's bigger, but the only thing I don't like about the map is that it gives me like an ancient vibe, like pirates, boats, ships, docks, I don't know, it's, it's so sea witchy, uh, I don't know, I can't explain it, but I did vote for the map because it's the biggest and it just gave a lot of freedom and it's aesthetic, but the Malwanda map will always have my heart. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about Celine. We know that Celine's abilities in the comics are soul sucking, life force, uh, a lot. <laughs> I did my research, but I forgot. Um, she has a lot of abilities, so I am a booster, so I know some of her abilities because of booster leaks. But I think her main ability will be soul sucking or life force sucking. Which is probably why she will be OP, because 1500 that's the most expensive one for New Journey yet. Mom Wanda was, mm, if I remember right, 1300 or 1200 I don't know. Dark Phoenix, around the same price, 1300 Um, So, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. But she better not be more OP than both of them. Mm -mm. Don't come for my Dark Phoenix and don't come for my mom Wanda. I love them. But I really hope that with this update and with the new map, or well, old map, that the player count goes up a bit because I don't really make new journey content just because the game doesn't do well lately. It's because of lack of updates and maybe it's because they are busy or something in a personal life i don't know it's just the game lacks updates in between you know you want to keep a game active by adding new game features or even if it's just an animation i don't know what it's going to be but i hope it's going to be big because if they learned anything is that small maps do not work out there's too much chaos too much toxicity you can't go anywhere without people chasing you. And maybe that's good for a PvP game, but it's too crowded, you know? And to make the server size smaller is going to get too boring. So I really hope that the new map is uh, quite big. And I can't wait for Snow to leave. Wait, what did I do? Okay, there. I can't wait for Snow to leave because we've all got flashbacks from last year oh, of course celine will be the last limited i've said this before but in case you didn't know celine will be the last limited which means that the next game passes that are coming out will stay in the shop forever and i've already said this before too but i think limiteds are stupid and the only reason they don't want to bring back limiteds is because they don't want to be called scammers but it's not a scam I think scamming people is making limiteds. <laughs> and it's gonna be real controversial, but limiteds are so stupid. They ruin the game. They're too overpowered. 
I mean, New Journey did balance it out because Gwen characters can literally kill me as Mom Wanda and Dark Phoenix, so that's not the issue. But, like, imagine if I'm a new Roblox player and I want to play as Mom Wanda because that's like my favorite movie and they have her in game, but I can't play with her because I started playing two weeks ago? Like, that's foul, that's annoying. And I'm gonna be honest, if I didn't play New Journey, and I was a new player, and I saw limited game passes, I wouldn't even start playing it, because it wouldn't be worth my time. I don't want to play a game where I only have a limited amount of characters I can select, because I didn't play earlier, earlier on, so... You know, that's my opinion on Limiteds. I think they're stupid, disgusting, nasty. But I just bought 1700 extra Robux just to secure her. Because she is gonna go to my collection. I'm gonna add her to my collection, of course. And I will do a showcase. But other than that, I don't really make new journey content. Uh, what else can we talk about? Leaderboards no longer receiving limiteds. Yes, that's that's something. So apparently, if you got on top of the monthly, monthly or weekly, I think monthly leaderboards, you could get a limited. But apparently, people have been cheating. Dum dum dum. Side eye because people have been using odd accounts and creating bounties, or kills, and damage, or whatever. Since the update released, I haven't done a thing with the leaderboards, because I didn't know how it worked. Plus, I already have all limited except for Phoenix Force. So, I, d I don't really have to do that. I'm not gonna <laughs> no life a game just to get a character that should be in the shop, you know? Giving away limiteds through a leaderboard is just weak. Just put them back in the shop. Like, New Journey only has few players because they limited their characters. Do they not see that they can get new players by putting them in the shop? The only thing they are afraid of is hate. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. Like, come on. You can save your game. You can get your game on top again. Come on. I honestly don't know what else to talk about when it comes to New Journey because... I barely spend time in the game because of the low player count, like, there's barely any interaction. And when I do join, there's people in the safe zone. So I really hope that with the uh, Dark Phoenix map that's coming back, probably, um, the safe zone doesn't get added there because that's annoying. Oh my god, I totally forgot to tell you. <gasps> We're getting the X mansion, like from the X-Men, but I'm pretty sure it's coming with the new map that they're developing. But I really hope that they keep other maps too, so you can switch. That's it for today. I just wanted to do a quick update, and I will see you next video. And if you're waiting for new new journey content, then you're gonna have to wait until Celine comes out because I will make a showcase and maybe a gameplay. I'm not promising, but maybe I'll do a gameplay. That's it. Bye, bitches.